because uh, so another way to think about this w is that you know we want you know th this is supposed to be the density of of this pair is a constant over the set a so if we integrate um, you know over over the set a we integrate that constant maybe it's maybe it's I don't know b dx dy and we need to solve for b well for any particular x if we integrate y what does y do y is it's it's uniform so we're uniform under this under this sort of curve under the surface and for any given x y is uniform on this interval so if we integrated this so b comes out and if we we do the integral over y then it's uh, so it's just it just becomes f tilde of x because we're integrating from zero to f tilde of x. This is f tilde here, dy, and then we have a dx outside. So this becomes b f tilde of x dx, and that's exactly what we have here. So so we end up with alpha, and uh, so then that implies that the density is equal to oh sorry this should be b alpha and this was equal to one because this was we were integrating the density over the whole thing and that implies so we solve for b and b is is one over alpha okay so i just wanted to make that clear what was going on here so that was the that's the first sort of step now we know what this density is and now what are we what are we trying to prove we're trying to prove that x has this distribution f so let's write down whatever the maybe we don't so let's say x has some 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 density here we'll assume for the moment that it has a density we'll see in a fact that it that it does in a second and we don't know what this is we want to say this is equal to x uh, equal to f rather well we can always marginal this is the marginal after we integrate out y from the joint density. And this is integrating y from minus infinity to infinity on the real line. And now we've figured out what this joint density is. We can just plug it in. So it's 1 over alpha, 1 over alpha, times the indicator that y is between 0 and f tilde of x right it has to be has to be in this in this set here the pair xy has to satisfy this constraint and the density is 1 over alpha the constant integrating with respect to y and this is this is a constant so it comes out and what do we have? This is just this is just the indicator. So this is just zero everywhere except for this interval. Zero to f tilde x dy. And so it's just one over alpha f tilde of x. So wait, what happened? Oh, right. We're not done yet. We want to show that it's f of x. And so f tilde of x is just alpha times f of x. Remember, back up here. f tilde of x is alpha times f of x. So the alphas cancel, and we get f of x. And that's exactly what we wanted to show. We wanted to show that, that the density of x was f of x. So we sort of started out over on the left assuming that, that x had a density, and then we we figured out that, that this was it. If you didn't necessarily assume that x had a density, you could do run this argument in reverse. You know, you start with f of x and you do this sort of strange, you know, introduce these this integral and you you work your way back over here, and you find that when you that uh, that that f of x equals the integral of the joint with respect to y, and that is you know that's that is is therefore the the marginal distribution of x, and it it is it has this density f of x. Okay, so that proves 
our second lemma, maybe we'll close that with a yellow box, check. And so that proves the, 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 the three steps of our argument. We only had two left to go. And so let's give the formal sort of statement of the result, how this all comes together. Proposition. Suppose F and Q are, so this is the formal statement for rejection sampling in the non-uniform case. So if F and Q are PDFs on R, D, such that F tilde of X, or I'll let me say it this way, such that F of X, same way as before, equals F tilde of X divided by alpha, and alpha is some positive number, and CQ of X is greater or equal to F tilde of X for all X in RD. So I'm just sort of restating everything to, to make it all. And C is some positive number. So we suppose all that. And then we have if X1 uh, x2, we have some infinite sequence, is distributed according to q, and yk, so we'll think about the kth one, the conditional distribution on yk given xk is uniform over the interval from 0 to cqxk, And Z equals XK, X capital K, where capital K equals the smallest K, it's the min over K's positive integer, such that YK, little k, is less or equal to F tilde of XK. So if all this, then Z, capital Z, is distributed according to the PDF F. So this is just wrapping all, you know, all of that, that uh, those different steps sort of together all, all in one. All the, that, the algorithm for the rejection sampling in the non-uniform case, we're just sort of wrapping this all together and making it formal by taking an infinite sequence of X's. Before this was kind of implicit in the algorithm that we were, there was some infinite sequence we could possibly, you know, that we were sort of drawing from. And uh, the Y's were conditionally uniform on that interval. And then the, 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 we sort of are rejecting each one until we get the, to the capital K, which is the smallest one that's less or equal to, to F of tilde. And this was our, remember this was our, in our algorithm this was our acceptance criteria, was y less or equal to f tilde. So that sequence, x1, you know, y1, x2, y2, is, you know, iterating over this. And sort of, in, to make that a formal statement, we iterate sort of infinitely many times, and then we pick off the one that's the first one where we accept. And um, so using these, these lemmas uh, and using the, the, the proposition for the special case of the uniform rejection sampling, you can put all those together and, and, and get the proof of this, this proposition. And so this, this, uh, this proposition basically is saying what, I mean, what this is saying is that the algorithm, which I described above here, is correct, that it is actually generating samples from the true target distribution that we wanted, F. Okay, so that was a, a lot of sort of detail uh, of, of the arguments for why this works. But I really wanted to sort of go through it because, uh, you know, a lot of times people sort of gloss over some of these details. And, and um, I think it's good to really check and, and make sure 
uh, that you understand why it why it works correctly. All right, so th so that's that's it. Uh, I hope you found that informative. I I think it's really nice to. I find it very very sort of intuitive thinking about the, this sampling from this uniform distribution on these sets, and then you're using the special case of the the rejection sampling for the uniform case. And I I think it's a nice sort of way to think about it. So I hope you enjoyed that too. All right, see ya.